Figma is one of the design softwares that we use the most in order to make the design workflow easy and communicative. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to learn the very basics in order to browse around the files. And in the second part of the video, we're going to give some more advanced tips and techniques in order for developers to extract and use the designs in an efficient and fast way. So the very first thing that we recommend you doing is to sign up via the figma.com website. You can do that via Google or via email. And it's just going to take you a couple of minutes. Alternatively, if we send you a view link, you just click on the link without having logged in or signed up. You're going to see this banner on the top, which is going to prevent you to use some of the more advanced features. Now let's briefly go over how you can use and navigate the design file once you logged in. So the very first thing that uh, you're going to notice in Figma is that by using the scroll wheel, you can go up and down and uh, by clicking the command key, you can also zoom in and zoom out of the file. You can also zoom in directly by using one of these keyboard shortcuts, command plus or command minus, or alternatively, you can set one of these zoom features. But the most easy and uh, common way would be to use command and uh, zoom. Now, that being said, uh, if you have a magic mouse, you can also go laterally, but uh, alternatively, you can use spacebar. And as you use spacebar, you can see that this hand cursor is going to appear. And you can uh, drag uh, around the file. You can also use uh, this uh, hand tool from the top menu. And uh, this is uh, pretty much it when it comes to navigating in Figma. On top of that, uh, one very useful thing is uh, adding comments directly in the design file. And the reason why this is so useful is because it prevents you to having to type manually exactly where you need something to be fixed in the design file. And it enables you to avoid also having to do a lot of different screenshots. So you can say, for example, change this button to orange <clears throat> and be sure to tag us in order to be sure that we're going to receive the message. And then once you leave the comment, all of the comments are going to be organized here in a version history of all of the comments so that we can work in a very organized and easy way. Now, on top of this, one very useful feature of Figma is the ability of using the inspect tool. And in order to do that, simply select the move tool and go on the right column and click on inspect. And if you select an element, and if uh, you cannot select it directly, they might be in a group. So just use the command key. And uh, as you can see, the developers are going to be able to see all of the different properties, typography, and even the CSS code that they can copy and paste in for their specific project. And uh, this is going to be really useful in order to minimize the communication and uh, really having all of these information right at your disposal anytime 24 7. On top of that, uh, you can also select the elements, uh, go under the design and select an export option, which uh, you can set directly from here if you want to export. In this case, it's going to be this image in either PNG, JPEG, SVG or even PDF format. You can select one X in order to export it exactly at the dimensions which uh, or set at the moment, click on export and you're going to have it inside your computer. That's pretty much it for this video. And if you have any questions at any time, feel free to leave a message in the live chat or on the Trello card. We'll get back to you as soon as possible.